Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to We the Revolution, a new strategy game out by Polyslash and published by Claybater. It's a game which puts you in the shoes of a French judge during the French Revolution, during the Terror, and also allows you to uh, sort of wine and dine in the Terror and see if you can build reputation or sort of climb the ladder uh, to the top of the French Revolutionary Pyramid. In our last episode, we started dealing with the intrigue mechanics behind the game, uh, which allows you to sort of attempt to eliminate political rivals in front of you, but also there's some risk there. Now, we're going to be returning to uh, a live stream that I did a couple of days ago here. The gameplay that you're going to be seeing in front of you will have been taken from that live stream. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and just jump back into this and, and see, you know, pick things up where we left off. I think I've already done everything I can here. So I think it's on to the next day. Act 1, Liberté, Day 10. Quit beating your dad. I never beat my dad. Paris should be grateful for having such a fierce defender of justice in you. Should we, should we the deputies of the National Convention, be scared for our positions? Long live the Republic, Robespierre. I don't know, Robespierre. Should you? Poor papa! <laughs> um, so far, we have killed four people, sent three people to prison, and acquitted three. Currently, our reputation is one. Not very good. And we have medium opinions of the common folk and of the revolutionaries. And there is a new party involved. There are the aristocrats who have a very low opinion of us, naturally, because we killed the king. So there's a new party involved. The aristocrats would like to kill this person. The revolutionaries want to send him to prison. And the common folk in my family want to acquit. This is a simple case. The accused is guilty of murder, and the only problem is that the people feel sorry for him. What's your name? Bruno Hugo. I'm Bruno Hugo. Did you work for citizen Jean-Claude Le Jacomard? Yes, I worked there for a few years, quite a few. Leave him alone, he's just a man-child. Do you admit the murder, yes or no? But I... Poor thing, he's shaking all over. Is he, like, not well? Or does he have some kind of condition? Bruno Hugo is a groom working for the wealthy and influential aristocrat Jean-Claude de Jacquemard. During a quarrel, he was seen to push his employer down the stairs, resulting in the aristocrat's death. It is a significant for the case that due to his origin and low intellect, Bruno Hugo is known in the local community as a village idiot. The witness testified that Jacquemard returned from a ride, displeased with the way Bruno had prepared his horse. Apparently, the saddle had become so... Uh, bad code... That citizen Jacques Mard almost fell from his mount. The victim called for Bruno in order to scold him and began insulting and physically abusing the stable boy. When, it, when acting on impulse, Bruno pushed his employer away. As a result, citizen Jacques Mard landed at the foot of the stairs with a twisted neck. The incident happened in front of other employees. Bruno Hugo escaped to the stable where he was later found pale with fright and whispering something to one of those horses. Great. Okay, so village idiot. Personality, I guess. Return from a ride. That would be more of like sequence of events. Uh, shouts and struggle. That'd be evidence, wouldn't it? Or that'd be method or motive? Yeah, motive, I guess. Could also be um, method. Wow, we're doing relatively good in this case. Wow. Loose saddle is the method, I guess. Return from a ride. That doesn't matter. Groom. I don't know if either of these matter. Wow. We got through that one perfectly without any mistakes. Um, the stable boy, were you responsible for preparing the horses for the victim? Yes, I calmed them and fed them. Horses eat a lot of grass. I combed them. Was the saddle loose? Citizen? No, impossible. I pulled the straps. You cannot pull too hard or it crushes and hurts the horse's stomach. Horses are good, better than humans. They... Did you want your master to fall off the horse? Did you deliberately leave the girth strap loose to get back at your employer? I never. I liked our master. I wouldn't hurt him. I liked him. You can see that he's a gentle child. Um... 
how did the citizen treat you? He was good to me. Sometimes he shouted, but he fed me and he was good to the horses. How did he shout? Sometimes he shouted. Sometimes he didn't. Aristocrat scoundrel. Is that why you decided to kill him? First he was tormented by the nobleman, and now the revolution. Let's take a look at the verdict form here. What do we actually... Uh, what happens if we imprison him? If we imprison him, aristocrats go up and revolutionaries go up. Common folk does go down a bit. If we quit him... Uh, the common folk like us, our family will like us more, but the other people will dislike us. I think prison needs to be the way that we go. Um, the people are relatively inflamed, though. The people are irritated. So I don't know why I want to poke home at him that he's not all there. The court is not mocking him. Well, how am I supposed to get the jury on board with uh, sending him to prison? Right now, everyone still wants to acquit him. My name is Colin Bofu. I'm the mayor domo at the residence de Jacques Mard's family. I saw exactly what happened. Please tell us what happened between Citizen Hugo and the master of the house that unfortunate day. Citizen Jacques Mard was furious at Bruno because he hadn't tightened the saddle. It could have caused an accident. How did your employer react to this? He started shouting at Bruno, tugging and pulling at him. Bruno pushed Citizen de Jacques Mard away, causing him to fall down the stairs and they were both standing on. Nasty bourgeoisie. <sighs> Made people more sympathetic toward him. I mean, I can't go against the jury again. They already hate me and they're killing my... They're cramping my style, so I guess we do have to acquit. No. Well, actually, did he? I guess I might as well ask the question now. I don't know I don't know what I did wrong. I don't understand. These people wanted me to come here, so I came. I meant no harm to anybody. No harm. You're facing the death penalty for murder. Do you realize that? I just want to go back to the horses. I don't know if they've eaten today. I have a horse that doesn't eat for a long time. The master isn't happy when horses aren't fed. You're more worried about the horses than your master? The master is dead. What can I do? And the horses are still alive. They're alive. Tablet, thank you there very much for the follow. Um, all right, well... So, no, he didn't commit to the crime. No, it's not counter-revolutionary nature. And no, he doesn't understand the indictment. I mean, that feels totally in, in keeping with 17th century France or 17th century anything. But I guess I will acquit. I've got to keep the jury in my good graces. or in, I've, got to be, I've got to stay in the jury's good graces. This whole double signing stamp thing is weird. Firestorm, thank you very much for the follow. Tab, I do check in on the chat every now and then. Find him not guilty. What does it matter? A crime is a crime. You know you have to be careful with the likes of this one. His employer should have known better. All right, so it does help our influence and our reputation. I do tend to focus mostly on the trial while the trial is going on, but I do check in with the chat between phases. And thank you for the compliment of my sultry voice. My problem is not my... <laughs> my problem with my voice is more that I don't know how to pronounce words. At least not, uh, you know, words with an accent. All right, what are we going to do tomorrow? Are we going to play with the children, read together, demonstration, evening gambling? Hmm. Demonstration. Make the wife and the dad unhappy, but the two sons happy. So let's do the demonstration. Father. Oh, no, we lose our perk with the people. But we get our perk with the revolutionaries. Wow, that was a pretty strong penalty with the dad. All right, let's see what happened in our scheming. Our bruiser is trying to put out the... Uh... All right, good job, bruiser. So we get the influence back, I think. Uh... Section's taken over. So we took over this section down here, this section, and this section. There's an enemy fighting in this region. We're going to send our diplomat down here. We're going to pull this diplomat out. Oh, no! Jean-Louis David is blocked. 
I hope my bruiser can come down here and help him. Let's check out the intrigue. The judge is abusing his family. No, he is not. So that was a success. So we're now into a successful intrigue, I believe. And now we get to expose the minister's wife. Madame Roland is the true head of the family. She is incredibly ambitious and skillfully maneuvers her husband's career, pushing him onward to more prestigious positions. I doubt that the minister made a single important decision without discussing it with her first. The so-called political salon held by her turned out to be an exclusive brothel in disguise. We must attack, cut them off from their income, from their information. So we have two options to do that. The wives of the convention deputies will learn the nature of that political salon their husbands tend to frequent. Then they will force you to make sure Roland's brothel is closed down for good. Or, I want Heronaut's guards to turn her establishment upside down. They will surely find something and close the brothel. They may not find anything. I'm going to go with diplomacy. So we won't find out that till tomorrow. We'll go into our section here, the... Thing is 3% complete. This action was already chosen? Okay. I'm mainly going with the diplomacy route with people. Seems to be there's one case per day and then there's sort of the manipulations that occur between trials. You want me to say Bolsonaro? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, warring the game, I, th uh, I don't know what it is. Let me check. It was on sale for launch day. I don't know if it still is on sale. Yeah, it's 10% off. It's $17.99, so it's actually not that expensive. It's under 20 bucks. Uh, it came out just a few days ago. The normal price is $19.99, and the sale price is $17.99. Uh, the sale... Doesn't tell me how much longer the sale is going to be going on. Oh, offer ends March 28th, so the sale will be ending in a few days. So, pronounce Roland without the D. All right, so this individual, the revolutionaries and the common folk want to execute the arrest air aristocrats would like to send him to an acquittal. So this is going to get a lot more complicated if we have to balance the aristocrats needs against the revolutionaries and the common folk. The aristocrats and the common folks in general are going to be relatively closely aligned, but the aristocrats, they're the ones we got to I mean, don't we want to kill them all? This is the French Revolution. All right, so this is a case compiled by Pierre uh, de Queen, uh, a case of treason, a case of theft, fraud, and of our uh, advocating monarchy. Oh great. Uh, the Marquis de Favros is a 46-year-old aristocrat, former soldier, and currently a political activist sympathizing with the monarchy. After he left the army, he married and started traveling across Europe with his wife. During that journey, he both fulfilled himself politically and supported his wife. Uh, he returned to Paris in 1789 and took part in a conspiracy that was supposed to put an end to the revolution. De Favre uh, showed poor judgment when he decided to confide in his former comrades who betrayed him and informed the authorities of the plan. De Favre is suspected of playing a huge part in Citizen Capit's escape from France. The plotters asked him to take out a loan of 2 million francs, which uh, would have covered all the expenses of Citizen Capit and his family on their way out of France. De Favras, where are your troops? From which direction will they enter Paris? I should like to be employed among them. So that's a letter from someone. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the questions. He's a former soldier. I guess that's a Fendant's personality. Well, there's six questions we have left to unveil. One trap, and we can get three incorrect. Sympathy toward the monarchs. Uh, let's skip that. Uh, let's see, there's a letter, right? Letter is evidence, for sure. Uh, loan... Is that an accusation? Yeah. Conspiracy, that's also an accusation. Return to Paris... Counter-revolution? No, that was a trap! No! I, I, I don't know what the... Um, I guess we lose a question or something like that. Uh, sympathy toward the monarchs, counter-revolution, defendant's wife, a spender's personality. Oh, really? Counter-revolution? Really? Okay. 
Uh, and supporting his wife. All questions unlocked. Okay, cool. So, please introduce yourself. I am Thomas de Mahay, Marquis of de Fra er, Marquis de Favreau. Marquis de Favreau, you have been accused of taking an active part in a plot against the people of France. I fail to understand how any of the deeds I am accused of would harm the people of France. You wanted to reestablish the fallen monarchy that brought us exploitation, hunger, and misery. That's right. We have strong evidence, testimonies of your officers, clearly showing that you wanted to abolish the revolution. Please, tell me everything about the strong evidence you have against me. How brazen. Why did you want to withdraw two million francs? This is an enormous amount of money. I withdraw it at the request of my superior, the Count of, of, the Count of Provence. As for its intended purpose, I would not dare to ask. How can you borrow so much money for another person and not even question its purpose? An obvious lie that information would be required to get such a loan. We aristocrats treat each other with respect and discretion. You would not understand. Mockery. Two of your officers testified that the money would be used to aid citizen Capit and his family in their escape from France. Why did you tell them that? You should ask what the reason for their testimony is. I agree there is a plot, but one against me and not the revolution. I keep changing my voice every time I speak. A different voice doesn't matter if it's the same person. Different voice. Just That's why I could never be a voice actor. <laughs> that traitor is trying to talk his way out of it. That and the fact that I can't pronounce words. Who is the mysterious M. de Foucault who wrote your letter? Or Foucault? Foucault? I do not know the person. Anyone could write a letter to me and make up the, cont the contents regarding any manner they saw fit. Did that random letter from an unknown person not concern you? It is gibberish. An honest citizen would have shown it to the authorities. It never occurred to me. I do not have the slightest inkling what that person was writing about. Not about troops that were supposed to enter Paris and end the revolution after the successful rescue of Citizen Capit. There are no troops currently under my command. That letter and that accusation of me sending troops to Paris are both serious misunderstandings. Who else, then? He's a dog on the Bourbon's leash. Tell me, would two million francs be enough to hire 30,000 foot soldiers? It would be more than enough. Hmm. Suspicious. What do you think about the revolution, sir? Everyone I know... Everyone knows that the state desperately needed reforms, but the violence? An, un, an unexpected and brutal assault on the royal family should be called revenge, not a revolution. So you're against the revolution, yes? I am merely disappointed by its course. As a former soldier, I can tell you that violence and war will always result in more hatred and more violence. Yet you were still preparing to forcefully capture the city. That has not been proven. If they hadn't caught him, the streets of Paris would be covered in blood. Nonsense! What are you people talking about? Calm down, Marquis de Favre. Your attitude toward the revolution makes you a traitor to the state in the eyes of the people. I'm saddened to hear that a few words of hard truth are enough to call someone a traitor and sentence him to death. Uh, so the rest of these are not questions I want to ask. So let's hope this witness helps us. Please introduce yourself. My name is Louis Stanislas Xavier de Bourbon. I am Count of Provence and brother to Louis Capit. There you have it, the traitor's brother. Describe your relationship with your brother prior to his death. What do you know about the plot involving Marquis de Favreau? The bankers, Chamal and Strunners, informed me that the Marquis was negotiating a loan of two million francs. Did they tell you the reason behind this loan? They did not, and I do not ask. I am not one to pity. Were you somehow involved? I learned about the loan only because Chamal and Strunners were my close friends. Allow me to repeat what I have already told the Paris Commune. I was not involved in the Marquis de Favreau's plot. If you find him guilty, then it should be... Uh, then... He should be sentenced to prevent him from harming the revolution. That I wholeheartedly agree with. Okay, guys, we got the jury on board with execution. Um, I don't want to ask any of these remaining questions about his military career, his wife profession, any of these things. Uh, let's go to the protocol. Was his act counter-revolutionary in nature? Yes. Uh, he sympathizes with the movement, but not with its methods. And the two million francs were spent on the expenses of a citizen compete during his escape? Well, I don't know the answer to that. I'm just guessing on that. Um, death penalty will make the aristocrats really not like me. Interesting that the revolutionaries don't really go up with death penalty. Revolutionaries kind of stay still here. They actually don't 
the revolutionaries don't actually care. What? It says they want to kill him. Right here. It says the common folk and the revolutionaries want to kill him. Yet it doesn't matter what I pick. The revolutionaries don't budge. Uh, the common folk will be really happy. The aristocrats won't. But it'll buy me some time with the common folk. So we'll go ahead and execute him. Sorry, sir, but you're a victim of my political machinations. But it also seems like you probably were guilty, too. And the jury wants you dead. One head at a time. A just verdict. That's what happens to enemies of the revolution. Hey, Bassable. And away we go. The mob is intrigued. Should we give them a speech? We might as well. So they're bullheaded, which I think means aggression, right? Um, the defendant aggression, crime aggression. Weak, weak, strong. I would have thought a, a, a aggression would have been a strong argument. They're attached. So does that mean manipulation? Why are they attached to this guy? Do you guys know if attached means you should go with manipulate or humility? J Street, I hope I'm not going to lose my head. Uh, Firestorm, thanks for the follow as well. I think I might have missed that one. Not sure. I'm going to go with manipulate first, and if that works, then we'll do it a second time. If it doesn't, then we'll go with humility. Uh, so manipulate. Let's see what happens. Yes. All right. Manipulate is definitely the answer. Will you just stand there and allow criminals to tell you what to do? Only death awaits the enemies of France. The crowd is very satisfied. Plus four reputation. Long live the king and the monarchy. Pull the rope! And off with the head of the traitor. It's kind of surreal how they give you all those different people looking on after the deaths. It's kind of like, wow, that's a little bit... Ugh. It's raining as I walk the alleys of Paris. <gasps> Someone has a club. Uh... Oh no! No! <gasps> Is this the revenge of the aristocrats? No! Someone give me some medical help! Hurry! Why? Tell me. What have you done? You. Why are you making me suffer? Sleep. I'm by your side. What? What's going on? Who are you? I do not want to sleep. Not yet. What the hell is going on? me suffer
So I didn't die. What the fuck just happened? You were unconscious for a long time. Or a long while. Who are the people? So this must have been a scripted thing then, right? Who are the people who apparently saved my life? Tell me about yourselves, please. Gregory Ramal, you don't know me, although I know quite a lot about you. The lady next to me is, I know, Grace Elliott, from Stories. You were the ones who sewed me up. It is not my first time saving someone's life. There are more victims of the revolution than you think. You encroached on Minister Roland's position, and more importantly, on the business managed by the enterprising by his enterprising wife, on the establishment from which their allies, Jean-Nicolas Pache, the mayor of Paris, and Jean-Baptiste Gobel, the Archbishop of Paris, got cuts of the profits. I didn't know. If the information was easy to learn, it means that someone is doing the job poorly. But you know. Yes, because I make my living by learning secrets. Word on the street is that the Gorgonards are planning to take over the convention by force. The king's humiliation and the reveal, or the uh, reveling of the connection, or revealing of the connections between the crowd, or crowned traitor and Roland, or Roland, uh, a prominent gendarme, weakened them. This chance might be seized on by the Jacobins, with Robespierre and Danton at the helm. This may be their moment. I want no part in this. These people are not fooling around. I'm afraid you had no say in the matter, at least as long as the Rolands are alive. As soon as they learn your survival of the attack, they will try again. Your death sentence is already signed. You seem to know much about me. How, I do not understand. Enough for you, or enough for now. You have to rest and regain your strength. Your, or regain your strength. Your wounds. I knew your brother. Monsieur Gregory! You are right. We will speak of this another time. I have yet to thank you for... You will have another chance. Story event wounded. I cannot change this action. So, yeah. Wounded makes all my family love. No, my son doesn't like the fact that I was wounded. What the fuck? What? 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 The fact that I was wounded makes my wife like me less? What the hell is up with that? At least we eliminated the enemy agent over there. Monarchist scheme. There is... There it is, the first piece of the puzzle. Let us fill in the rest with corpses of enemy agents. The patrol may imprison your agent or capture an enemy agent. Okay. All right. I'm just going to send my diplomat back to my home territory since he's uh, obviously hurt. Um, meanwhile, my um, clubber, hopefully, clubber Lang, hopefully will take out this enemy diplomat. Action performed the next day, exposing the minister's wife. We're day five of the uh, thing. Meanwhile, Elliot and uh, Elliot, well, this Elliot courtesan is the person that we just met. Marat is much further up the food chain, apparently. Roland is the one we're targeting. Han Ryan's our ally. Robespierre is all the way up here. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, can we save the game? All right, let's check him with the chat. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode of We the Revolution, uh, a strategy game which I'm finding myself like more and more the more time I have with it. My main gripe just is around sort of the way the game visualizes some things and kind of makes you aware of things that I think it should hold behind. I think the game doesn't do a good job of making you deal with imperfect information. It provides you too much perfect information, but that's my own two cents, you know, in terms of how uh, you already know who who wants what to happen in a trial. Um, with that being said, yours truly got stabbed the shit out of this turn. 
and uh, just barely avoided death. Uh, I was really surprised when that happened. Uh, as you can tell, it was recorded live, and I, I was I was stunned. I thought the game was over. I thought I had irritated the aristocrats too much, and I had lost. But it appears to maybe have been a scripted event. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's going to do it for today, though, guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And uh, as always, uh, we'll pick things up where we left off next time. Until next time, though, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.